Hey, Jim. Where are you at? Oh. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I know. Again, it's been a while. Oh, let me... There, you can hear me a little better. Uh, I'm still working on the house like crazy. I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm in the middle of the kitchen, so I got to get the kitchen cabinets painted and all the hardware changed out and everything back together. So I can put the refrigerator back in the kitchen and Shannon can have her kitchen back. Uh, meanwhile, we had a little problem. The X5 has kind of taken a weird dump where occasionally it just won't start. Hit the button and at one point it gave my wife a warning about the transmission. Um, I've looked into it a little bit and it kind of seems like the behavior I've got is a starter motor issue. So. <laughs> that means the X5 is kind of out of commission right now. So I had problems with the 650, it kept getting a flat tire. So I had to get the 650 ready for Shannon to start using tomorrow. Put new front tires on it today. And that really improved the way that it handles a lot. Um, then I was test driving it around and what this quickie uh, video is about is a strange chirping, rattling noise that this car's had for a really long time. And it was really annoying and it sounded like it was coming from the driver's side rear seat area. So it was usually only uh, as soon as you start actually rolling and get going a little bit and it sounded like a bird chirping or a, a strange squeaking. I, I should have gotten a, uh, a recording of it while it was still happening. I fixed it, I figured it out. Um, so if you have a weird chirping in the back of your six series let me show you what i found out it was all right i got in the back seat and i banged on everything and jiggled everything and i couldn't come up with anything i could still hear it at idle just a little bit trip 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 turns out uh, let me go get a light <clears throat> okay that's better turns out it was coming from this uh, let's see I said that this uh, panel here this panel has a couple of attachment points there's one inside there it's a little plastic rivet where you pull the little center pin up and it allows it to slip out well if you look up here there are two up here one there one there both of those were not attached. Uh, someone had pulled them out and was not able to get them back in. And I couldn't get them back in at first either until I figured out that you have to pull the little pin almost all the way out in order to relax the little legs enough to let them slip in the mounting hole. So I just figured out how to make the rivets work, popped them back in and quiet. No more bird chirping in the back of the car. So. Hey, hey, Jim, <sighs> a little quick success. I always like that when I can fix some annoying thing that's been going on way too long. I just really looking into it. <sighs> Still got to do the Mercedes transmission. I know I'm working on the house, so hopefully I'll be back out here in the garage soon. Thanks for watching.